Hi, my name is Teresa Ortega and I am a certified handwriting analyst. And what we're going to talk about today is what you can see in your handwriting or actually what you can see in anybody's handwriting. It's very interesting to take a look at the handwritings of millionaires because you can see many things about them that made them successful. And of course it's fun to look at your own handwriting to see what traits you have that might be similar in comparison. One of the things that we can see in Oprah's handwriting, which is very distinctive, is how her O circles completely around her first name. And that's really kind of a protective covering that she's put around herself. It's kind of like an umbrella over her life. And of course, she had a very difficult upbringing. She had a lot of issues that she dealt with as a young woman and coming up. And of course, now that she's one of the most powerful uh, and richest women in the world, of course, I'm imagining that part of it is also protecting her fortune. So she's got a lot of protection that she's put over herself and her life. This is a great example of another millionaire handwriting, and that's Donald Trump. Love him or hate him, he is what he is. <laughs> what he is. Um, but you can see from his signature particularly the very fast speed at which he writes. So it tends to look almost sort of like an encephalogram working. You know, he's very fast-minded. He, he analyzes things very quickly. He's actually, obviously you can tell, he has a lot of a lack of patience. So, if, you know, if you're not thinking as quickly as he is, he's not going to have time to deal with you. So you've got to be on his plane of thought. Um, and he is, again, a little impatient. He is actually very open-minded and he tends to be pretty direct and blunt. Obviously, we all know that. Um, but again, his signature, his, his ego isn't particularly huge, which I found interesting. Um, you know, he comes across very strongly, but, but it looks like to me, I don't think his, his own ego, I think his outside persona is much bigger than, than probably what it really is. Now let's take a look at some things that might be seen in your handwriting. What does your handwriting say about you? Here's a great example of what we look for in a T. And a T is a really good indication to us of many, many things, but one of the things it indicates is a high self-esteem. So depending on where that T bar crosses on your stem, that indicates your level of self-esteem. On this example, he's right there at the very top, and that's actually what we want to see in handwriting, is to see that sample with the T-bar sitting right at the very top. Most of the millionaires that we analyze, by and large, have high T-bars, and that is just a level of indication of their self-esteem, so that makes sense as to what helps them achieve the goals that they achieve. One of the great things that handwriting can help you see are health issues in your handwriting. Um, there are many things such as Alzheimer's and even heart disease and some other things that are possible to see with handwriting. This is a great example of someone who has Alzheimer's. Of course, as we age, our bodies tend to deteriorate somewhat, and sometimes our handwriting will deteriorate along with it. This is a good example of the tremors and such that will show up when somebody has that kind of a disease. And handwriting analysis is being used quite a bit more and more to determine health and handwriting so that you can be helped with your issues.